Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again everyone. Today, we will be discussing Theorem 8. Um, by definition, it's the perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center of a circle. So, um, we, we, we will just create an if and then statement based on the information that is given. So, we have perpendicular bisector. So, from the term perpendicular, then therefore we have this segment DC. So, we assume that this is our figure. Ito, yan. It's our figure. Then, this segment DC or line DC will pass, is perpendicular to AB. Perpendicular to AB. So, here. Okay? And, this DC bisects AB. So, if DC bisects AB, then we can assume that this AC, point A up until C, is congruent from to this point B up until C. So, we have BC. Right? And, our then statement would be, then DC passes through the center of the circle. Okay? So, firstly, we, um, uh, from the uh, theorem itself, what we can uh, safely assume there is, if you would have any line that is a perpendicular bisector to a chord, then it passes through the center. So, an example, if you have this circle, and you have, say, a um, uh, chord here, and then you create a line, okay? that is a perpendicular bisector, then this specific line, this line that goes up indefinitely, will definitely pass through the center. Ay dadaan lang siya dun sa center. And that would be our theorem number 8. So, let's try to prove this one. Um, this would be proof by contradiction. So, this is a stupid proof by using um, the previous theorems 6 and 7. Okay, so we will assume that segment DC does not pass the center. Okay, it does not pass the center. So, um, so from theorem 6 and 7, so from theorem 6 and 7, theorem 6 and theorem 7, we can, uh, it is stated there that any perpendicular bisector, any perpendicular bisector, of a chord, of a chord, must come from a line from the center of the circle, the center of a circle, um, up until, up until it's, up uh, until, 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 up until it's uh, midpoint, midpoint nung line, or up until the line. Up until it's, uh, up until the line. Okay? The line. Okay. So, again, from theorem 6 and 7, you will have um, a perpendicular bisector of a chord must always come from a line from the center to up until the uh, line, line or the chord itself. Okay? So, and then again, that would be the shortest distance. So, meaning, um, in this, uh, say, figure, if I will have the circle, if I would have a chord here, the only time that I can create, okay, the only time that I can create um, a congruent, uh, a bisected chord and a perpendicular line is if I would have this point in the center up until some point in the chord. Okay, at, up until some point in the chord. So, meaning, the only chance that I will create this one is uh, if I would pass through the center. And this would contradict our, ano, our assumption that DC does not pass through the center because if DC, if this segment DC, okay, this specific line DC, is a perpendicular bisector of our specific chord, that it would fall under the theorem 6 and 7. And if it falls under 6 and 7, then there would be some point within this specific line DC okay, that we would call the center of the circle. Okay, and if we would try, if we would want to locate the, ano, the center of the circle, then we can just simply create multiple perpendicular bisectors, at least three perpendicular bisectors, so that we can locate perfectly where is the center of the circle. And the point of intersection would just simply create that. Okay? And that is one way of finding the center of the circle, by creating multiple um, uh, chords with a perpendicular bisector. Okay? And that is one application of this theorem. Kasi in this theorem, we are just simply saying that any perpendicular bisector, any line that will bisect a specific chord will pass through the center. 
So in this case, say we have this given circle. Okay, if I want to create, if to find the ano, the center of the circle, I will just simply create this line, and then I will create a perpendicular bisector. So this is just ano by ano tancha, okay? Congruent, congruent, and then I will create another chord. May it be smaller than that? It's okay. Then I will create another perpendicular bisector here, bisected, bisected, and I can assume that this is the center of my circle, okay? and that is absolute, guys. Any perpendicular bisector will pass through the center, and this is proof by contradiction, okay? Because we assume that it does not pass through the center, but based on theorem six and seven, the only time that you will create that you can create a perpendicular bisector is by taking a point in the the center to a specific point in the line, which is called the midpoint. Okay, so I hope that you got our lesson. If you would have any question, you can just uh, check the video again, or you can ask me in our class. Thank you everyone for listening, and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.